It's possible that a simulation is one day going to be inevitable, that we're going to have something that's indistinguishable from regular reality, but maybe we're not there yet. That's also possible. What if your entire life is just a program? What if everything, including your thoughts, emotions, and the universe, is part of an advanced simulation? Joe Rogan and Elon Musk have discussed this mind-bending theory. Because why would you make a simulation that's boring? It makes simulation way more interesting than base reality. Questioning whether reality is real. Musk believes the chances of us not living in a simulation are almost zero. The simulation hypothesis suggests that we exist inside a digital world created by a higher intelligence. Strange glitches, quantum mysteries, and hidden mathematical codes hint at a deeper truth. Are we just characters in a cosmic experiment? Let's explore this chilling possibility. What is the simulation hypothesis? Imagine waking up one day and realizing that everything around you, your home, your loved ones, even the sky, isn't real. It's all part of a simulation created by an advanced civilization far beyond our understanding. This is the core idea behind the simulation hypothesis. It suggests that our reality is not physical, but a highly sophisticated computer program. The concept became famous after philosopher Nick Bostrom proposed a bold argument in 2003. He stated that if technology keeps advancing, future civilizations will have the power to create hyper-realistic simulations. If they do, these simulations could be filled with conscious beings like us and billions of simulated worlds. If that's true, the odds of us being in the one real universe are extremely low. Think about video games today. Each year, they get more detailed and lifelike. Virtual reality lets people experience entire worlds without leaving their homes. Now, imagine a civilization thousands of years ahead of us. Their simulations would be so advanced that the people inside wouldn't know they weren't real. Some scientists believe our universe already shows signs of a simulation. The laws of physics seem finely tuned, like coded rules. Quantum mechanics suggests reality changes when observed, like a game rendering only what the player sees. Even our brains process information in ways similar to computers. If this hypothesis is correct, it changes everything. Are we just part of an experiment? Are we living in someone's simulation for entertainment or research? And most importantly, if this is a simulation, can we ever escape? The Science Behind the Theory The simulation hypothesis is not just philosophy or science fiction. Some scientists believe objective evidence points to the possibility that our universe is a simulation. Strange patterns in physics, computing, and mathematics suggest our world may not be as accurate as we think. Here are some theories that might just go over your head. At first, in video games, everything is made up of tiny pixels. Scientists have discovered that the universe also seems to have the smallest possible unit, the Planck length. Nothing can be smaller than this. The universe has a resolution limit, just like a screen. If reality were genuinely infinite, no such limit should exist. Next, a famous physics experiment, the double slit experiment, shows that particles change their behavior when observed. When no one is looking, they act like waves. But when measured, they behave like solid particles. It's as if reality only renders itself when it is being watched, just like a video game only loading what's in front of the player. Up next, the universe follows strict mathematical laws. From gravity to the way galaxies move, everything works through complex equations. Some physicists argue that if reality can be described entirely through math, it could mean we are inside a programmed system. Even computer code has been found hidden inside quantum equations, similar to how programmers write code to create digital worlds. Lastly, another clue is the speed of light. Nothing in the universe can move faster than the speed of light, which is 300,000 kilometers per second. Some scientists suggest this could be a built-in limit, like the frame rate of a simulation. Such constraints would prevent glitches and keep the simulation running smoothly in a computer-generated world. These scientific clues don't prove we are in a simulation, but raise unsettling questions. If reality is programmed, who or what created it? 
And is there a way to break free? Joe Rogan and the Simulation Hypothesis Joe Rogan has often explored the simulation hypothesis on the Joe Rogan experience. In his famous conversation with Elon Musk, Musk stated that the chances of us not living in a simulation are one in billions. What would a what, civilization, if you count it, if you're very generous? This idea shocked many listeners, making them question reality itself. Rogan often compares our world to video games, noting how technology has evolved from basic graphics to highly immersive virtual reality. Where did that computer game, where did that simulation come from? Imagine what an advancement it would be if we created such simulations today. Could they make a simulation so realistic that the people inside wouldn't know it wasn't real? He has also discussed this theory with experts like Nick Bostrom, who argues that if simulations are possible, there are likely millions of them, making it more probable that we are inside one. Rogan questions, who is running the simulation? Are we an experiment, entertainment, or something else? This theory fascinates Rogan because it challenges everything we know. If reality is simulated, does free will even exist? Or are we just programmed beings following a script? Whether true or not, Rogan's discussions make us rethink what it means to be real. Philosophical and Religious Perspectives the simulation hypothesis is not just a modern idea. Philosophers and religious thinkers have questioned the nature of reality for centuries. Many ancient beliefs align with the idea that our world is an illusion controlled by a higher power. Here are some. Over 2,000 years ago, Plato described a thought experiment. He imagined prisoners trapped in a cave, only able to see shadows on a wall. They believed the shadows were reality because they had never seen anything else. But in truth, a more fantastic world existed outside the cave. This is similar to the simulation theory, but what if we only see a mall, a controlled version of reality? In Hindu philosophy, the world we experience is called Maya, an illusion. The actual reality exists beyond what we can see or touch. This idea suggests that human existence is temporary and is shaped by forces beyond our understanding. If the universe is a simulation, it closely resembles this belief. Next, in many religious texts, the universe is created by a higher being. In Christianity, God is described as an all-powerful creator who shapes the world and sets the rules for life. In a simulation, the program's creator could be what religions call God. The idea of a designed universe fits with many religious beliefs. Lastly, Buddhism teaches that life is an illusion, much like a dream. It suggests that humans must wake up to a higher truth. This aligns with the idea that reality might not be accurate and that we are just part of a programmed experience. If our world is a simulation, does it change how we see religion and philosophy? Or does it prove that ancient wisdom already understood the truth? Arguments for and against the simulation hypothesis has fascinated scientists, philosophers, and tech experts. Some believe that strong evidence supports it, while others argue that the theory is flawed. Let's explore both sides. Arguments For the simulation hypothesis Firstly, video games, AI, and virtual reality become more advanced every year. If a civilization beyond us exists, it could create simulations far more realistic than anything we can imagine. If it did, wouldn't it run many simulations instead of just one real world? That makes it more likely we are inside one of them. Secondly, scientists have discovered strange patterns in physics. Some equations in quantum mechanics resemble computer code. The way particles behave changing when observed suggests that reality might only exist when necessary, just like games load only what the player sees. Thirdly, some scientists argue that the universe follows strict mathematical laws because it is programmed. We see repeating patterns in nature, such as the Fibonacci sequence in plants and galaxies. If reality were random, why would it follow such structured rules? Lastly, many experience deja vu, strange coincidences, and moments that feel like glitches in reality. 
Some even report seeing repeating number patterns or bizarre events. Could these be signs that we are in a programmed world? Arguments against the simulation. Hypothesis. Even though there are theories, there is no concrete evidence that we are in a simulation. Science is based on testing and proving ideas. No experiment has confirmed this hypothesis. If we are in a simulation, the system running would need infinite computing power. Simulating a universe with billions of conscious beings would require a machine beyond anything imaginable. Could even an advanced civilization create such a thing? If we are inside a program, who built it and why? If an advanced species created this world, what is its purpose? Are they studying us, entertaining themselves, or something else? Without an apparent reason, the idea remains speculation. We don't even fully understand human consciousness. Some believe the mind cannot be simulated, meaning that even the most powerful computer could never create a genuinely aware being. So, is our world real? Or are we just part of a grand illusion? The debate continues. Is reality real? Or are we just part of a simulation? Science, philosophy, and technology suggest it's possible. If true, who created it and why? We may never know. But does it even matter? Real or not, our choices shape our lives. What do you think? Let us know.